Hey, what's going on? It's Rick here. Okay, so today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about this, which is the SJ Cam 360 Plus. It's a 360 degree camera. Uh, you can pick it up on Amazon for about $149. I'm going to link to it in the description down below. Also check out my links down below because that's where I'm going to show you the footage that I shot with this. Just a few different clips. Those clips are not in this video today because this right now is not a 360 video and you can't dynamically switch from this to 360. So look in the description down below. You're gonna see the links. You can check them out for yourself. Um, let me get this out of the way first. In my opinion, 360 cameras, unless you go the pro level, and we're talking thousands of dollars for like a true 1080p 4K and above 360 cam that's going to run you $5,000, $6,000, $10,000. Um, what you're going to find at the consumer level ranges from okay to decent. Um, I have yet to see something at the consumer level under 200, under 250, that really produces spectacular video. Now these cameras, they really do a lot better when it comes to those panoramic and 360 photos. I didn't test that in this video today. I'm purely talking about video and that's because that's what I do. And I also think that's what most people are gonna be buying these types of devices for is for that 360 video. Um, so I do think they're a bit of a hobby camera. You take them with you on a vacation or something like that. Um, but let's go ahead and crack open the box and I'll tell you my experience with it uh, after I show you what you're going to get here. So uh, first off, as we open it up, you are going to get, of course, the camera, which uh, you're taking a look at here. And this camera uh, is pretty small. Um, the lenses are somewhat fragile, so uh, it does come with a carrying bag that you're definitely going to want to use. Uh, it's simple in its design. Along the side, you've got a power button. It also serves as a button that you can press when it's powered on to cycle through the different menu options. You can change things from uh, sounds to date to uh, setting up its Wi-Fi, which will allow you to connect it to your phone, uh, Android or iOS, so you can uh, use it with the appropriate app. More on that in a minute. Um, it's got a button for recording and stopping recording or to take a picture or to uh, do that sort of thing. You've got a thread along the bottom, uh, which you'll be able to use for a tripod or the included little small mini tripod, which I'll show you in a second. And you also have a USB port along the side, which is going to charge the internal battery. Now, the thing about that battery, if you look right down below here, there is a really small notch. It's not big enough to put a coin in there. And I do find that just trying to remove this kind of battery door is a real pain. Um, you gotta use something super small. Uh, if you try to use your nails um, from your finger, it just, it's, it's super difficult to do. I would have liked to have seen an easier way to open up this door. Um, the battery is underneath, which lasts for about an hour, um, give or take. Uh, and underneath the battery is where you're going to supply a micro SD card. It doesn't, inc it doesn't include one, so you need to include your own. You need to purchase one and put it in here. Um, so that's the camera. Now, by the way, when we talk about this from a video perspective, uh, it's shooting uh, at... They say 1080p, but um, it's a little bit lower than that, actually. It's 1920 by 960 at 30 frames per second. Uh, shoots an MP4 format, uh, and you can do uh, multiple different display modes. So you can do square, spherical, hemisphere, inner ring, ring, two split, 360 panorama. You can uh, do it for VR display. Uh, there's fisheye. So typically all the different features that you would expect in a 360 camera, you're gonna get it in here. Um, and like I say, about an hour to an hour and a half battery life on this. Um, the photo format, uh, again, five megapixels, JPEG, uh, and it will take that micro SD card up to 64 gigabytes. So that's what we're talking about there. Wi-Fi on it, which remember, Wi-Fi is you turn on the Wi-Fi hotspot, you connect your phone, Android or iOS to it so that you can then use the app that you can download from iOS or Android. 
uh, for iOS or Android devices to be able to control this camera to do multitude of things, recording, taking pictures, set quality, uh, and to even transfer the uh, photos and videos to your device. Uh, but it uses Wi-Fi at 802.11b, G, and N at the 2.4 gigahertz spectrum. So uh, that's the camera. You're also going to get this, uh, which I said is that really small kind of mini tripod. So you can just uh, screw that into the bottom of this device. And as you do that, what you're going to find uh, is you can open it up, set it up on a table, or you can close it up just like so. Uh, and you can then kind of carry it around. I turned it on uh, as I was doing that. So you may hear the beeps there as I do that. Let me go ahead and turn this guy off. Um, but you're definitely going to want to use this uh, with, at least if you're going kind of the vlogging route, with this attached. Because the higher up these are, the better it is. Um, because with the software you're going to use, it's going to stitch everything together. There is going to be a stitch line. Again, check out my sample videos. You can see them in the description down below. You're also going to get that carrying pouch that I mentioned. Super important. Those lenses are somewhat fragile, so you're going to want to keep it in there when not using it. A couple of instruction manuals, which are honestly... They're not that great. Um, I had difficulty. It took me way longer than expected uh, to just try to figure out how to transcode, how to use the software. So um, the first instruction manual talks about the camera, but it also tells you where you can download the uh, iPhone or the Android app. Once you get the app, the app is decent, um, but again, there's no real instructions for it. You're going to have to take the time to figure it out on your own, how to save the different files to your phone. Uh, it just doesn't explain it. I mean, I was able to figure it out, but it took me much longer than I would have liked. The other instruction manual is for the transcoding software. It tells you where you can download it. Um, if you're downloading it on PC, it's got a link for that. Likewise, on Mac. Uh, word about the Mac. Um, it is an unsigned developer, so your Mac might tell you that you can't install the software. You're going to have to go into your Mac and change your security preferences to allow the software to be installed from an unsigned developer. If you're concerned about that, then definitely that's going to be a potential deal breaker for you. Uh, the instructions um, for the software that you download, to be honest with you, it's one, two, three, four pages long, and they're not that great. Um, again, it took me about 30 minutes to figure out what to do with the software to be able to get it on my desktop so I could upload it to YouTube in a usable format. There were things that it told me in the instructions to do that just didn't exist in the software, so I had to figure it out on my own. Um, moving right along, we also have a USB, micro USB to USB cable that's going to allow you to charge up the battery within here. Um, I didn't find a way to be able to make the files convert or to file, have the files transfer from uh, this device to my computer using the cable. I had to take uh, the memory card out and plug it into my Mac to get it to work. And then finally, you're also going to get a uh, kind of an Amazon review card in the package that tells you to join the review club. And you will also get this, which is a kind of a little hand strap that you can attach to the camera. There is a loop to do that. Um, so you don't go dropping it. Um, but overall, with a camera like this, again, it has a very specific purpose. Some people like to use these uh, to live stream on Facebook or Periscope. Um, I didn't see anything indicating that you could do that um, on this particular device. There are competitors that will allow you to go directly to Periscope. Um, with this one, I did see the option to upload to Facebook. I did see the option to upload to YouTube from the software. For me, I took it out of the device, put it on my computer so I could edit it, and then I uploaded it. Um, the quality, as I mentioned, it's okay. Uh, it's not quite 1080p. It's right below it. Um, and on a small screen, that's okay. Uh, I suspect it's going to be really quite okay when you're talking about photos. When you talk about video though, I did find uh, that when you start getting it on a larger screen, you lose quality. So uh, TVs, it's going to look like a mess. Um, a larger computer screen, it's going to start to get pixelated and blocky. 
Um, some of the video samples that I supply, you will see, uh, I did one in my vehicle, and I did that purposefully because the inside of the vehicle cabin is dark, er, uh, the outside when I was driving was daytime, and I wanted to see how I was gonna handle that adjustment, and it just, it really couldn't do it that well. The inside of the cabin was fine, but when it was shooting outside of the window, it looked completely blown out. You couldn't even see what was going on. Now, when you kind of look around because of the 360 cam, you could see out the side windows and see it. So uh, it didn't really handle the, the light balance all that great. Um, audio coming out of this, there's no way that you can plug in an external audio device. So if you're set on using an external audio device, you're going to need to uh, sync it and post. Um, the audio that you get out of this is, eh, it's, it's not great. Um, I guess it's workable, um, but it's not great. Uh, but again, I mean, for under $150, you are getting a 360 cam that shoots decent quality video. Um, I don't think that it's to be used as an A cam by any means. I look at it more like a hobby cam, something for fun, something you might take with you to an amusement park or on vacation. Uh, you want to kind of play around with it. It wouldn't be your sole source of video by any stretch. Uh, I would use it just uh, as a supplemental sort of, let's see how this works out. Um, if you guys have questions for me, again, leave them down below. I'm sure you're going to have some. I didn't touch upon everything with this. The battery life on it, by the way, is about an hour to an hour and a half, give or take, depending on what you're doing with it. Um, but for me, 360 cams, Personally, I feel they're not quite there yet. They will get there. Uh, we've seen it at the professional level, um, and now it just needs to happen at the consumer level. So again, if you guys have questions, feel free to leave them down below. Hit me up on Twitter at Metagamers. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe for even more content. Don't forget, check out my video samples in the link down below, and I'll catch you guys next time. Take care.